Hello everyone, hope you're well and welcome back to the channel. So today what I wanted to review was this drone mask. Now what looks really cool about this is this is a purposeful sort of mask that you can wear for your drone for that immersive experience and you don't need any sort of other technology. I will just um, show you later that to connect to your drone's controller to your phone you will need an additional cable but otherwise everything's in this box to have a much more immersive experience with your drone while flying. So let's have a quick little look at the box itself. So we've got this really nice picture of the front, which obviously we'll get to see the product inside soon. On this side, we've got the name drone mask, immersive flying experience, comfortable face padding, no need for any third party apps. It blocks out the sun while flying, which obviously is a great benefit because those of you who are drone flyers, you know that sometimes using your phone, you cannot see. Easy to use, no splitting of the screen. So basically, the it isn't two screens like a lot of kind of um, you know like you've got these Google goggles and stuff like that. This is one whole screen, so you know it doesn't split the image and reduce the resolution. It keeps the resolution full. It works with most smartphones and is compatible with most camera drones. So in the box, it says we've got the drone mask itself, the goggles. We've got a pouch, a manual, and a little thank you card. And then we've got some logos on the side. So on the back we've got how it works. Connect your drone controller to your smartphone with a long cable, which we will have from whatever cable you use to recharge your uh, phone with. Launch your usual app for your drone. I'll be using the DJI Go app. Insert your smartphone into the drone mask. Zip it short and adjust the head strap and the focal length. Wear the mask and enjoy. So it sounds really simple. So let's get it open and have a look. So first thing, before I even start to look inside of here, what I thought was really, really cool is on this side, without letting any of that fall out, hopefully the camera picks it up, but what it says is it says the Magimask team, and we've got a signature here from each of the team members and their title within the business. That is a really nice touch, something that I have never seen. I'll do a close-up of that, something that I've never seen on a product before, and I love that little personal touch. I think that's really nice. It shows you they're very passionate and very proud of their product, so thumbs up on that one. Let's just put the case lid to the side. So inside, we have a nice pouch. So let's take the pouch out. And inside, so we have a little, I think this is the thank you card. Again, this is a really nice touch. So in here, we've got a little story here. So the story of Drone Mask started in 2016 after a trip to a cinema in San Francisco, where it was dawned upon us that what we have gained in mobility and smartphones, we have lost in viewing experience. And it goes on, I'll show like a little close up of this and you know, you can have a little read of it yourself, but that's a really nice little touch. So put that to the side. So inside we've got the little instruction manual which I am one of these people who don't really look at instruction manuals. I like to just sort of figure it out myself. But you know, if you do obviously, this is the first time you've used one of these or you know, watching this video for the first time, then hopefully you won't need to look at this instruction manual on how to set it up because I'll be showing that for you. So let's take the box out of the way. So we've got a nice bag that obviously I'm guessing we can reuse this, which is nice. And here we have it. Ah, and there's a little cloth there, which obviously will be good for cleaning the lens. Let's just put that over there. So straight off the bat, this feels really, really nice. We've got that nice supportive padding all around the inside where obviously it'll be against your face. It's really nice and spongy. You've got like over half an inch there of padding. It's really nice and soft. This, this feels really good quality. I like the materials, it's like a fabric, but it looks really hard wearing. The zip is protected, so you're not gonna catch it on anything. And I love this, like, it's like a matte, sort of really soft plastics. So again, a nice, nice sort of high quality, no shiny, scratchy plastics, it's all matte. That is really, really nice. And we've got a lock and unlock here as well. Okay, so now what I thought I'd do is I just lay out everything that you're gonna need to be able to get up flying and enjoy the drone mask. So first, we've obviously got the drone mask itself. We've got our drone. We've got our controller, and this is the DJI Mavic 2. We've got our phone, which obviously is very important because that's the thing that you're gonna be using as the actual screen itself. We've got our phone charger. So whatever you know, phone charger you've got, ideally, as long as it's got the USB at the end. And then what you'll need is an adapter. Now, this is something that's advised to get, is an on-the-go USB, and just make sure you get the type 
of sort of connection uh, for your drone controller in order for this to work. So the first thing you need to do is to connect the USB of your phone charger to the on-the-go adapter and then what that will do is if I open up my DJI Mavic 2 controller will take out the standard charging cable, put that to the side and then this is what you will use to control the drone so just connect that and I'll just put the sticks in place so you've got your drone, the controller is now ready so then what you need to do is to connect your phone to your original charger and then basically get that inside the actual new drone mask itself now in order to actually fit this into the drone mask what you do is open up as such and then what you've got is like a little kind of adaptable you know uh, elasticated connection there so what you'll do is you'll put your phone inside and just click it into place and that basically will be it you'll just zip up and what's good is because you've got the two zips for example if I zip up around this side and zip up around this side as you can see now that is really nicely and enclosed but what you will need to make sure you obviously do is to connect your drone first to obviously access the screen because then once you've closed and zipped up you can no longer touch the screen itself you're just using this as like a monitor like an FPV monitor so what I'll do now is I'll set up the drone and the next shot will be showing me actually having the mask on my head itself and giving you a review of what I can see right okay so I've got the drone it's turned on turned on the controller which is actually on the floor so it's good that you've got a really good long cable because just if you can see on camera there so I've just got my phone set up now what I was going to do is just a little bit of extra fun is I know this isn't an FPV drone but what I'll do is I'll do a screen recording just to show you obviously what I can see uh, but also I'm going to set the drone to do like it's little FPV where the camera the gimbal stays static with the drone so obviously when I'm going left to right it will have that little FPV view okay so now hopefully you should be able to see exactly what I'm seeing on my screen and what I'm going to do is click the little buttons at the top right go down to the gimbal I will do, so it's currently on follow so at the top right I'll do FPV so just cancel that so now obviously the drone should be a little bit more like FPV just for a bit of fun so now what I can do is close up the actual drone mask now itself and I'll see if I can show you whoa this looks cool not sure how well you'll get to see this maybe I'll try and do some better footage afterwards but if I try and get the camera up it's hard to show you but basically, the, you get a full resolution of the screen through the goggles. It doesn't like split it and do half resolution, which is much more of an advantage compared to some goggles that you can get out there. And then when I've got this on, you can actually adjust it as well. So let's put it on. Now I'm hoping you can see me. I'm just going to look up. So actually, first off the bat, it's actually very, very comfortable. The sponge around the edge is really, really good. Now what you can do is, hopefully you can see this, I can adjust the focus by pulling this out and there I've got it set. And that is so cool. It's actually a little bit disorientating, the fact that I'm using the controller and sort of not actually physically looking, but oh my God, this is going to be really, really cool. Okay, so let's get started and get flying. Oh my god, this is honestly so cool to have this perspective. It was a little bit disorientating just getting up and flying, so, so if I'm moving left to right, whoa, that's cool. So let's just do a little fly, let's get a bit higher. Let's get away from all my neighbours. Oh my gosh, I actually wanted, I just panned my head left to right then, that was subconscious. Oh my gosh. This is a fantastic experience. So I'm just going to look down. I keep twisting my head and I don't know why because I don't need to because I'm going to have to use the drone to look around which subconsciously. Oh my gosh, that is... That is so good. The resolution is fantastic. If I took off the kind of focus that I've got 
on the screen because obviously when I'm filming cinematic videos I like to make sure that everything's in focus which is why the screen recording will be picking up all the little red dots but I think to just have a bit of fun and fly around with this then I'd probably turn that off oh my god I'm, t I'm, I'm tilting the head to the right again oh wow that is so cool do you know what, it doesn't even feel heavy either, it doesn't feel heavy on my head, I'm perfectly fine. Obviously if you do have maybe like an older, really heavy, heavy sort of phone, then I could see that you might find it a little bit heavy. Oh my gosh, this is so, so, so cool. It gives me a glimpse of what it would be like to fly with an FPV drone. So cool, because when you're normally looking at the screen, it's actually quite small, but to have this clarity so close, it like you know, it's like a huge screen in my vision, is just brilliant. For you watching this video, you don't get the full effect of what it is that I'm kind of experiencing, but it is, I suppose, like having that bird's eye view. What would be cool is to take all the information, all the details off the screen and just purely have the view from the drone itself. I would, uh, that would be really, really cool. Right, well, what I think I'll do, I'll bring the drone down, let's do a quick summary. That was brilliant. <laughs> I love that. It's a little bit disorientating when you very first put it on to get used to, you know, not looking down at a screen and my vision was the drone itself. And then so when I was taking off, subconsciously, I suppose it's like if you wear like a VR headset, I could feel my body and my head like swaying a little bit and instead of just looking at the screen and just turning left and right like in your ring, I found myself like looking left and right. It was a really cool experience. So as a summary, brilliant. I think it is such a good thing to have. You know, if you like just flying the drone, it actually could be advantageous for actually flying and recording because like I think I mentioned, it's much more immersive, you've got a much bigger vision of what you're seeing in the screen. Sometimes when you're looking at a little screen, you'll miss details and you won't see things. But having that full vision, like a cinema screen, in, in your eyesight, was just so cool. The only thing I would say, as a disadvantage, is the fact that, as I mentioned before, you've got to set the drone up, put the your phone, your screen, into the mask, and then when you've zipped it up, you can't obviously adjust anything afterwards. You could try, but um, for example, if I was just to put my controller down, hopefully you can see this. So if I had this on, and then I want to do something quickly to adjust, what I've got to do is unzip it, and then it doesn't feel safe to do so. You'd have to open up the screen like this, and obviously your phone feels a little bit dodgy, like you don't, you won't want it to fall out. But that's not the end of the world, you know, as long as you're careful, you could do this, and now, like, I can adjust things on, on him, you know, perfectly fine. But maybe what I'd probably feel safer with is if the zip opened from the top, so then if I was holding this, I could just have it that way, and that way I'd feel sort of less unsecure about opening it up. But I think that is a small, small drawback. But the actual product itself feels really, really nice. The adjustable lens, so again, if I can show you, see if you can see. So you can see how it sort of goes in and comes out. That is so that you can adjust to your sort of, to make sure that you've got it in focus. Obviously I had it like a centimetre or so away and that was perfect. The clarity was completely clear. I couldn't see the pixels on the screen. It was fantastic. So one thing I wanted to mention, I've just got my phone here just to have the details, is that the company who produced this mask for the drone also have something called the Movie Mask Go. And for the first 450 people who purchase this via the link that I've got below will get themselves a free version of the movie mask. So that's the thing that's really cool to own because basically it's like a slightly smaller version of this but it works just in the same way. You can fold it away to something probably a third of this size so it'd be great to like have on holiday you know you could imagine just sitting back on sun lounger lounging put this on you could watch a movie not this on sorry but the movie mask the smaller one. You know, you might use your phone to watch things, even like YouTube videos. You could just pop it into the movie mask and watch something as if it's like in the cinema. It's really cool. 
Right, so I think I'll leave the video there, everyone. Really hope you've enjoyed this. Hopefully it's been of some sort of insight and you're excited to get your hands on one of these, as I just mentioned before. If you go ahead and purchase one of these with the link below in my description, because that's where you can get hold of one, then you could be one of the first people, one of the first 450 people to get themselves the free movie mask when they purchase this. That is free. So definitely don't hang around, get clicking on that link, and make sure you get yourself one of these as well as the movie mask. So thanks everyone for watching, hopefully see you soon, bye.